Welcome to the video. Uh, I've got the iPad out, so this is the first time I'm making a video. By the way, I don't want people to think that the gang is going anywhere. The gang's all here. <laughs> they ain't going anywhere. I've been a treasure hunter my whole life, and it's just going to not be as often. Um, unless I can find another city. But M. Barry's still looking, and we haven't given up totally on this one shop, Goodwill City. But, um gonna just give it a rest like I said on the local thrift bags because these people are getting getting a little trashy around here literally I uh, wanted to show you all this red dragonfly it's gonna fly in a minute but um, I've never seen one it's called a neon skimmer it is native to Texas y'all can see how red that is there against that blue oh it's gonna stay Look pretty good, and um, it blends in with the tomato. It's absolutely stunning. It's huge. I mean, it's something else. I was just reading about it, and they're normally around ponds and creeks. Now I do have some water in that bucket, and we have mosquitoes, so that water is from yesterday evening's rain. And it's going to be watering that droopy avocado plant there in the garden today. I don't leave water in there for long because of the mosquitoes. But um, I don't know if that's what it's doing. And I don't know if there's a male. There should be a female. We've had a lot of uh, interesting. There it goes, but it'll be back. Let me just step back. Olivia's out here with me. We got the coffee. I just had my last official doctor's appointment of the year. <laughs> you know, when you get older, you start having to see the specialist. Everything's fine. But, um, there he goes. He likes that spot. And we're not going to bother him anymore. I'm not going to get closer. We'll walk over and look at the okra. So, it is... Oh, I put... I'm still using the guinea food for the birds because it has sunflowers in it and little mealworms and the, everybody likes it. I just put out a fresh bunch of it up there and we had some cardinals here. Very lucky, feel very lucky to have so many cardinals in my yard in this area. Uh, that looks like it's a mess over there but that's actually wild berry patch. So, um, this pepper plant is about two feet tall. It hasn't done anything yet. It's called a giant Marconi. Looking forward to that. I don't know if y'all can see my little signs there. We've got the butterflies coming through. Earlier today we had a um, giant pileated woodpecker. If you don't know what those are, look it up. Pileated, P-I-L-E-A-T-E-D. Uh, here's the okra. They're the woody woodpecker ones. I mean, they just look ancient. And they're very rare. They're not extinct. You know, they're not super, super rare, but they're rare. Much more rare than they have the... They look like a dinosaur. They have the crest. They're just basically woody woodpecker in the, in the flesh. So the, look at these two okras. I had to drag them out so they could get even more sun because uh, the sun for half of the day is not shining on this spot. Um, these are my later tomatoes, but all they're just now starting to put out flowers. They're having some troubles, you know, whatever. Here's the ones in the ground. Then we've got the cantaloupe crawling everywhere, starting to go up the fence, which is fantastic. That came from from a, um, just a cantaloupe from the store, and I'm, I'm excited. Now, there's three peppers on that plant, and they're called chocolate, like chocolate bell peppers. I wanted the, them to get a little bit bigger. I think this one's going to be cherry tomatoes. I think I need to get more steaks because I'm I'm leaning these together and they could benefit from not being on those steaks. So 
Here's Olivia here with me. Uh, Mink is doing great. She was on my lap earlier today, so that was nice. She hasn't been getting on my lap too much since she started feeling better. She likes her little round red, which I don't think I've ever made a video, little playpen thing. There he is. Look him up. Where is he in the thing? Up, oh, and there we go. I assume that's the male. So Olivia's ready to go in. And I haven't even gotten my coffee started. There's the box. Okay, I'm losing my finger. Sorry, I hope it wasn't there. That's I hope it wasn't there the whole time. But anyway, there's the box of rocks. I still got all those rocks to paint. Just put out 21 rocks again, or 29. And uh, y'all saw a few of those. Swan is a dumpster dive find. Yeah, I just want to let y'all know that there's where Mika and I sit in the evening. I'm going to have a little coffee here. That, um, you know, the gang's all here. And, uh, it's just going to be not every day where we're able to find decent to look at jewelry bags. They got wind of it and I don't know what, I just couldn't figure out what happened at that thrift store. Um, if they got a new person doing it and that person's just, there's one lady that's just hardcore. So I, she would cut off the ear post just to force people to buy the ones they have on their little shelf. But, um, at least they used to put, you know, interesting things in there. There wasn't even anything, not too much even interesting when you took look at the total of $70. So, that's where that's at. Um, Olivia's taking a little and she got cooler now. She's on the sidewalk or the concrete. We're just out here. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to work 9 to 5 and Thursday 9 to 5. Then I'll have a few days off and then officially hit the ground running next Thursday. But very, very grateful for how everything's been. Um, all my doctor's visits turned out great. You know, I even had a dermatologist do a little biopsy on a something raised on the side of my cheek there and uh, normally she just burns it all off with her little dry ice because it's sun damage but this one gave her a little pause and that had me a little concerned but that came back got a letter came back great no no skin cancer and it's on that side of your face where when you're driving the sun's always on there of course I've been I slather on the um, sunscreen now the last few years but growing up when I was four I was in a swimming pool when I was four because there's pictures of it and uh, we didn't have that was the 60s there was no sunscreen you were just outside because it was good for you <laughs> you know but Texas is not quite I mean Texas has got most of the days are sunny and hot sunny and hot This coffee's good because um, I had to go to a, to the doctor today and didn't want I wanted my blood pressure to be really good and all my pressures to be good, so I, I had limited my coffee this morning, and um, so this this one now at about three o'clock is is tasting really good. And uh, somebody put out a few rocks, so we may try to get them. They put them out while I was in the office, uh, doctor's office, and uh, I went ahead and and made note of it. But it doesn't mean they're going to be there. It's been a couple hours, but I think Olivia will like that little walk later on. 
And, uh, oh, kind of a thing I'm proud of. Y'all say you like my stories, so <laughs> I'm watching a, uh, is this, like I said, we're hanging out here with the neon, the neon, uh, what was, skimmer. The red dragonfly. It showed up literally to, I have not seen him before. I was just like, what is that? Um, apparently they have an interesting mating ritual. I read about it and I don't, it didn't seem any more interesting than any other animal mating ritual to me, but whoever wrote it was writing that about it. Um, generally they're around Austin area, but they are native to, I guess, all of Texas and they're usually around ponds, but that's what I'm saying. He must think this bucket of water is going to be there a while. So I'm not sure what I want to do about that. Maybe I'll just leave it. Uh, we'll see. I mean, there's mosquitoes anyway in one little bucket. It is what it is. Um, all the rocks I put out, and I did take a picture. I think I put, I put about eight, of, seven of them, five of them in a video. It was the... I don't know that y'all ever saw the Longhorn. I did a Longhorn. It was like a Western theme. I did a saloon, a Longhorn. I did the the fire, camp, campfire. I did the, um, was a brand, and I did a little sign that showed the little town. I did camp coffee, and I did this big rock was, um, the covered wagon, and that was, that was the best one. And so I put all those out, plus a bunch of others yesterday and um what i'm proud of is the lady that runs the facebook web page she uh she never paints rocks she just approves everything i mean if, if she doesn't if you're saying something on there she don't want you know like people getting on there trying to sell stuff or whatever she's the person in charge of you know taking stuff off so she's in charge of the website on Facebook and um, she never she'll like everything that everybody does but she commented she said my daughter and her friends are we, we went downtown and got these rocks and she took a picture they had found um, one of them was a blue lion like a face painting print it was pretty cool and the other one was the longhorn and so she, I was just proud that that person thought enough of my rocks to decide hey hey girls let's go let's go downtown look for these rocks because I've never known her to ever post that she's found a rock with her kids um little update on the guy that never mows um I don't care if he mows or not where did Olivia go she must have heard something And uh, I heard him and his girlfriend out there arguing, or he's got a baby by her, so they, maybe they're married, but uh, out there arguing a couple days ago. And she said, the neighbors and the mowing, and he said, I don't give a you know what about the <laughs> neighbors. And I want to say, it's not me, it's the Brady Bunch. I don't care what y'all do as long as. You're not bothering me. Here she came back. What'd you go see? You need to go in, you hot? Pretty girl. You want to sit? Oh, is mommy home? Where's mommy? Where's your mommy? Um, so, we hear the birds. We'll walk over here. Um, so anyway, he's, I don't give a, you know what, about those names, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, y'all know the story about the Brady Bunch calling the city. So, I've already mowed twice since they got that done professionally. He's not going to pay to have it done. I don't even care. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. But, um, yeah, this is heaven. What can I say? We got a red bud, all these red buds right here, a little red bud forest. Uh, it's about an acre of property, and I have a little name for just about all the little areas popping up. I got a, the Camellia Crescent and uh, the Evergreen Patch. I 
can't remember right now off the top of my head. The Oak Grove. We'll walk down here and I'll show you all the Oak Grove. Uh, and this used to be a little, some kind of a little farm in the 50s. Uh, I know that, that this road used to be sand in the old days before my time. And um, they grew watermelon out here. And I've dug up some nice little finds with my metal detector. But um, this right here is dead branches from this huge oak. And I cannot, I could probably saw some of the smaller ones, but half of it is still up there. It's too dangerous for me to be over there. It's just, it's gonna come down one day and I'm not messing with it. Anyway, the other story is he came home Monday at about 8 in the morning and pulled his car in and hadn't left yet. This is the oak grove. All these are live oaks. Live oaks means they they don't they're evergreen. They do not lose their leaves. They shed some of them in March, which is a weird time I know. But you can see how thick that canopy is. And you can see this is the sun is shining. <laughs> The sun is out, but as you come across this way, you see all that, it's all shady in the oak grove. Now over there is the meadow, which is a grassy area, but beautiful wildflowers in the spring in that spot. But we're down here, we're down here by the wind. I dumpster dove this thing too. It's a big ceramic thing. I gotta watch where I walk, cause could be snakes out here. That's the wind. These are really beautiful um, ceramic image. See how shady? And this is just years and years. I need to come up. I usually keep the branches up, but I got to put my boots on to do that. See that? That is just nothing but canopy of blessed shade i don't know how many degrees cooler it is in the oak grove probably i'm, I'm gonna guess 10 degrees like if it's 100 outside it's gonna be oh, probably 92 in there i think and she's waiting for me to come on up but anyway you know he uh He's not an animal lover. His my only concern is why, and he's got a hot temper. And he claims he owns the house, but he's just paying their mortgage. But he may not. I just told my, my friend, just don't answer the door under any circumstances because they might be under some stress over there if he did get sent home from the job. He trims trees, and that's a that's a job, hard job to do. But he's just got a mouth on him. All right, well, I wanted to show y'all that and just let y'all know the gang is all here. That's one thing that's not going anywhere. Took, took a while to get them together and um, just gonna have to be following Billy Bob's philosophy is it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. We'll see y'all later on.